This is the first time I'm going live. I'm actually here in my office and I wanted to go live. I want to get this figured out. Uh, I want to do a little afternoon walk around, show you guys a little bit what is going on. We'll wait a second here and see if anyone else hops on. So hopefully you guys can hear me okay. What's up, Ace? Howdy. Can you hear me all right? Hi, Hunter. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Hey, Jeff. Awesome. So guys, I don't know if you remember the dump truck that got wrecked. I just found something out. Uh, there's this website called Go um, Copart, and that is where I guess the insurance companies would sell these trucks. And I found our dump truck, our wrecked dump truck on that site. Flip this around and show you guys. If you, It's pretty simple, if you go on Copart, you guys can actually bid on it or buy it yourselves if you want to, but you go on Copart and basically up at the top, um, somewhere up at the top there, you click on, uh, just click for Kenworth or search Kenworth. And I searched uh, T800s and right here, um, this one is our truck. And I'll just click on it here and show you guys there it is. So it brought back some memories. You can, I was just looking at this again and I'm like, wow, this thing got smashed. Look at the roof. You know, thinking of fixing this, this truck up would be, it'd be a lot of work. You can see the bed. The engine's still in one piece. The bed is actually separate. But anyway, you guys can actually go check out those pictures yourself. Uh, again, the website, Copart, it's C-O-P-A-R-T. And just type in Kenworth T800 and it should pop right up. Sorry about all my tabs up there, guys. All right. Let's go for a walk. I wanna show you guys what's out in the shop. I, my office actually overlooks our store. This is our landscape supply company. My office is inside there. And stay tuned next week, guys. I was driving this past week one of the coldest days I was driving. I gotta go down the stairs here. So I was driving and had a little boo-boo. So I won't be able to show you all that stuff today, but in the video next week, it should be out. I wanna show you what we're doing out here. So all There's the Peterbilt dump truck. Sorry guys, that something went wrong with my service. That color is one of my favorites. I still like the deep tropical blue a little bit better. Whoever sent me that, uh, I don't know how to work this thing, but whoever sent me that little super chat thing, thank you, whoops. got some of these trucks out here washed 
And if you go out back right now, there's not many trucks out there. This is truck 141 and 142. Temperature right now. There's a bunch of the trailers. Usually there are not this many trucks parked up here. But the reason we're doing this is because a lot of the trucks are going in the shop for the weekend. It's supposed to be really cold. Get down to like eight, eight degrees tonight. Before you say hi. So they're backing a lot of the trucks in for the uh, weekend. Hopefully they can come in uh, Monday morning, pull these trucks out and they'll be good to go. Saves them a lot of headaches. We don't have to worry about fuel being gelled up, which we hadn't had a lot of trouble this year, but there's no snow on them. They just pull them right out. Trucks are warm, makes it a lot nicer. So they got, we got three in. We got one over here, two. And this is 107. This is the one with their suspension in the front. This is truck 108. And truck 136. So in our new shop, we can, we could put a lot more trucks in, but we're not using that yet. And some of the delay for the new shop is because we can't get C of O till there is water hooked up and connected. And they don't want to tap the main line out front till springtime. They don't want stuff to freeze up. Those are both two of the new ones. This is uh, truck 131 and 132. And then there's also a day cab uh, that is the same color, same year. I got actually three trucks all at the same time. It was an extended day cab, this little 38 inch bunk, and then the 62 inch. And we have a lot of different blue trucks and we've kind of trying to been stick with blue and so the last several trucks that we had turned out to just be canyon blue uh it was kenworth canyon blue so now it seems like a lot of our trucks or a bunch of our trucks are canyon blue that's actually what the truck over there is going to be that flat top I'll show you another truck or two out here. It's a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. It's just brutally cold. I don't know if you guys can see that one. It's truck 120. Soaked up to a van, heading out for Monday morning. A load of stone going out. This one obviously did not get washed. But for you guys in the south, you can see how nasty uh, or yeah, crazy it is for us. Grime and there's uh, corrode stuff rusts out 
stuff gets plastered. This truck's actually a 2008. That's the T800. I actually bought that truck down in Texas for $6,000. All right, guys, as far as the dump truck, that was the last video I put out, and there was a lot of guys saying you're gonna hate the pack R, you're gonna love the pack R, and I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. <laughs> so far, we, we didn't use it much. We told the guys, hey, we're gonna go haul some stone with it here in the next week or two, get license on it, and haul stone, get the thing working a couple days, see how it runs. We're hoping that there's uh, no big issues. We're gonna try to work the bugs out before we actually get busy. Check this guy out. So, yeah, that Packard motor, I have some friends that got them, and the one guy had an older one, and there was a, uh, had a bit of issue with it, eventually deleted it, and it had been running really good for him. And then they say a lot of the newer ones after 2015 are a lot better. Yes, this is my first Packard engine that we own. Pilot trucker welder from Buffalo. Got someone local on here. So I really hope we don't have to delete this thing, but it's one of those things where this is only our, this is our only dump truck that we haul with in the springtime. So come April, May, June, July, we really need this truck to run. We can't have it down. And just like when we were bringing that truck back in from Buffalo and it's down, you got problems, you know, that truck's got to run. It, on, you know, fortunately, we didn't really need it that bad, so we were just on our way back in, no big deal. But in the summertime, we can't have this truck down for two or three days. So, hopefully, this thing runs good. We're gonna try to, like I said, we're gonna try to get the bugs worked out of it, and then uh, this summer it will run good. If not, you know, we're gonna have to do the unfortunate. We just can't have a truck, an undependable truck we depend on our dump truck quite a bit. I don't know what else you guys want to see. I want to see if I can get into the comments here. There we go. Sorry guys, this is my first time. Who all do we got on here? Ace B, Matthew, Fozzie Ozzy, what's up? Kevin Hardy, Susan Sullivan, I think you're from UK. Ace, what's up? You're a member of Copart, there you go. Go. Good luck bidding on that truck. Leonard Smith. Matt from Wisconsin. Alex Farming and Trucking. Ace. Yeah, he is lucky to be out with only a broken leg flip this camera around they're getting ready to back that next truck in chaka gillis ryobi tools or trash <laughs> somebody must have had a bad experience with ryobi tools <laughs> oh yeah i know you are what's up brother the temp here yes yeah, i don't know 17 18 20 degrees hello from denmark Alex Farming. Jim Bishop. Yeah, I know. Best of luck. I hope we have good luck. Russell. Paul Western. Our drivers do use the sleepers. Not all the time. And it varies, actually. So some of the... Uh, 
some of the seasons we we're, we operate very seasonally we we haul so many different seasonal things so there's times where they're in their truck more than other times man i am terrible at this All right, Matt. Yeah, I will have more reviews of the Packard motor. I'll show you guys the sleeper out here too. George, yes, we're putting the hogs away in the barn. We only call uh, hogs around here the Peterbilts. I'm just kidding. Pilot trucker welder, greetings from Buffalo. Fred, official. Um, we will be getting or we will be hiring some drivers soon here just uh we're february january and february are our slowest months yeah i know the dot uh i don't like when they know we have anything deleted um you know a lot of our trucks i i, I don't like to delete trucks and i and i won't unless we have problems but one of the things that i'm gonna do if I do have to delete a truck. I am going to document every dime I put into this stupid thing if it's starting to cause us grief. So before, so when I do have it deleted, I can say, here's what I tried. You know, say they come to me and say, you got problems. Well, I can at least say, I tried. And I can show them my $10,000 worth of expenses of trying to fix it. Uh, Bluefish, Dark Lord, what's up? Michael. We kind of try to keep the same strategy for all our trucks, but unfortunately, it kind of fell by the wayside. Here is this Kenworth sleeper. Sorry to be holding it at an international. A little bit of snow on it, but it's all stripped out. Paul Barkley, what is up, brother? IK Jot, thank you. Ken, Florida. Hey, I wish I was there, Kenny. KO. Hunter in Texas. I'm, I planned a trip to Texas and this past year and due to COVID, didn't make it. Mark, Dark Lord, Louisiana. I got my boy here with me, Denzel. <laughs> uh, G, Clifton Springs. Wow, you're right around the corner from us. Eastway Logistics, La Hoida. Yeah, snap-on tools, I know, they're expensive. Timbo Ratliff. Yeah, I know, I hope the newer Packers do pretty good. Glen R, hello from Hershey. Oh, you work Hunter Peterbilt in Lancaster. Cool. Might have to harass you if we have issues. Pilot, uh, Kenny, all you guys. Anyway. Paul, you're trying to stay stay warm. How's plowing going? Don't you plow snow? Kevin Hardy, Jim Maxson. What's up, guys? Wilmington, North Carolina. It's 41. Yeah, it is cold here. Oh, one other thing I want to show you guys. Check out my hat. I got a new hat in and this hoodie. You'll probably see it in one of my videos. I think I posted. I got my favorite hoodie. I love this thing. I got it printed, the Flint Creek printed, and you could probably get it, uh, shoot up an email and get a printed one like this as well. But I'm also gonna get a screen printed one. So, I don't know, over the chest or whatever. Hopefully that's, I can get a couple different colors, but that's my favorite one. It definitely much easier to get in and out of these hoodies this way I don't know if I'll do more live feeds now I think I will I just got to figure out how to use it Paul you're done by six this morning that's good you should have came and drove for the day actually probably Connor I didn't have work you know one other thing I'll tell you guys quick, back to this dump truck again, is 
the reason that we have to take that axle off is New York State, we cannot have a lift axle that is not steerable. It doesn't really do us any good. It's just dead weight hanging on the truck. So if Thomas from Ireland, wow, all over the place today. So if anybody's looking for an axle, this is still in great shape, but that axle is gonna get pulled out of there sometime in the next little bit. And the tarp, there is really nothing wrong with the tarp on this truck. It's just, we do like the other arms better. I don't think anything would get um, clogged up or whatever. It, Cause we try to haul about 40 yards of mulch in this bed. It should fit right around 40 yards. And sometimes you got to heap it up. So when that slides back, it could tend to catch a little bit. Whereas if you had the arm that goes back, it wouldn't be near as big of a deal. It just, you can haul much higher load. Mike from Washington. We will uh, probably replace that axle, maybe. So our older dump truck, our T800 that we had with, that had air suspension as well. And the eight bag, had eight bag suspension. And when you had a load on, that thing would really uh, lean from side to side, especially going around corners, it was a little scary. So I would definitely want a axle if we still had that thing, a steerable. We probably would have put a steerable back on that one if we would if we'd still have that one around. This one, we want to see how it's going to handle with a load of stone on, put 20 ton on, see how it does before we actually, uh, you know, spend the money and put a steerable axle on. And Fred, we mostly have employees. We do have some owner operators that run, but they do find their work. Uh, they do have other work that they do. We just give them certain loads that they do for us. And then they find their own backhauls. And at some point too, guys, I, I do wanna go over, I wanna show you our other company uh, if you haven't gone over that channel, Sensenix Landscape Supply and subscribed, uh, definitely do that. I also started a channel there, so I'm involved in both companies and the trucking business kind of started, you know, from the uh, landscape supply side. And I want to introduce my dad and brothers at some point. And also, I have family in Guatemala. I have family in Bolivia. I have family in Haiti. And I don't know if at some point I can get down there. I really wanted to go down there, but with this whole COVID testing and I don't want to get stuck or stranded down in Guatemala or Bolivia and a lot of the borders are shut right now. So at some point I do want to get down there and my family in Guatemala, they have about 15, 12 to 15 trucks. So I think it'd be really cool to go down there and show you guys. I've been down there a few times and it is, it's pretty crazy uh, how they operate their trucks and how many trucks come in from the States. So, uh, Mike, yes, that was my first experience with Hunter and they treated me very well. So I can't complain. Doug. How many acres is the stone yard? Oh man, I'm gonna have to go on Google Maps and look. I don't know. It's it's definitely quite a few acres. Marcus, yes, I felt I got a good price on the dump truck. I was actually looking for a Kenworth and ended up with a Peterbilt. That can tell you how good of a price I got on that dump truck because I really wanted a Kenworth. Can you put a link up for the merch store? If you go under the description in any of the last couple of videos, there should be a link there. You can also go on our website. There should be a link on our website. And if you look on my homepage on YouTube, uh, you can also uh, get a link there. I think it's on the picture. I don't know. I don't know if I can post a link now. I think I don't think I can. I am not very tech savvy.
The other channel is Sensenegs Landscape Supply. Hi from the UK, E. Perslo. Doug, the injured driver, he is doing well. He is, I uh, just actually was texting him the other day. He seemed to be doing just fine. Um, so hopefully soon here, he'll be stopping in. I don't know if he is uh, he's watching or not, but I got him a Peterbilt hoodie. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna close this out. I appreciate you hopping on here and have a fantastic weekend. And we'll see you around. Peace out.